Okay, so our next uh, presenter is Jen. So Jen Cha is currently based in Sabah. Uh, she has been working with this NGO called NGO I Link for the past eight years, helping the indigenous to develop their products. Has been with Tinda Malaysia since Tinda Malaysia since 2012, and have been running Pachaba training sessions for for three elections. And I will be helping her to uh, do the slides as she present. So Jen, the time is yours. Uh, you are to speak until until no more than 3.57. Uh, so please, uh, you can start uh, your presentation right now. Okay. Thanks, Danish. Uh, hello, everyone. So uh, the, we'll start by the next slides. Yeah. Because of time, um, so I'm going to share only three points. As any games you play, you want to know all the rules of the game and what card you can use. So I'm going to share three, three points on me, Borang 10, Borang 11, and the Pemahati. These are some of the tools that you can use in your pacha. Next slides. So about Borang 10, uh, Borang Seplu, uh, According to the uh, regulation 1910, a manner of voting, uh, you have you have a person that is called uh, orang yang dipercayai. So a voter who is in uh, cannot uh, vote by themselves, either blindness or they they need assistance to walk to the voting uh, polling station, uh, they can nominate a person to help them. And it needs to be Malaysian citizen and over 21 years old. Uh, this is some of the example. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can also have KTM to help the voter to vote under the witness of a uh, polling agent. Next. Here's an example of the uh, Borang 10, where you need to... The, uh, can you show the whole slide, please, Dan? Thank you. Yeah, so these are the example of uh, Borang 10. Um, under Regulation 1911, uh, you need to ask anyone that have... Uh, uh, that is assisting the... The OKU or the person tidak berdaya, uh, unable to work by themselves, to fill up the, the orang yang dipercayai to fill up this form. It's not the OKU that fill it up, but you will also have the uh, the voters' information in uh, the the lower part of the borang ten. Uh, it's supposed to be that the KTM or SPR need to have enough copies of uh, Barang 10. And upon request only, and the last sentence of uh, Regulation 1911, you, KTM only give you if you request for it. Otherwise, they won't give you a copy. Okay, next slide. So before GE 14, uh, no one really interested in OKU. They don't, uh, they will just assume that OKU will find a way to vote. Lah. But after GE14, uh, SPR pay a lot more attention on OKU needs. So funds are allocated to uh, upgrade the rules to Saluran 1 because uh, OKU are now been channeled to Saluran 1. Uh, they make sure that it's wheelchair friendly. Uh, in Semenge, I think they just have a board or something, but Sabah is more fortunate. We have a cement road, a new cement road, the one in Kimanis. Um, it used to, uh, you can, the orang yang dipercayai can be your family members, anyone that you trust or uh, SPR officers, they can offer their assistance to uh, anyone that needs help, even uh, senior citizen that 
want to skip queue or they, they just want to use a wheelchair, they don't want to walk, they are uh, they can ask uh, SPR officer to assist them and wheelchairs will be uh, ready in the polling station. Um, they enjoy the priority so they don't have to queue if you're on wheelchair unless there's another one wheelchair in front of you. Okay, uh, let's see. So the problem now is why we are uh, telling you about Borang 10 is it's not the OKU that is uh, have a suspicious of things, but it's the orang yang dipercaya e Because it used to be in our training, I will tell you that the orang yang dipercaya e is a blood related family. Uh, it's either your parents, your spouse or your children, but it's not anymore. Uh, it's anyone According to the regulation, it says anyone that the OKU says or orang yang tidak berdaya, he nominate anyone that he says uh, he uh, trusted will be orang yang dipercaya. This can be abuse. Uh, maybe some someone can abuse in some way. Lah. I'll leave it to your imagination, but. Uh, so in this case, we'll, we'll say that, uh, especially at, in our old, old training, we'll say that if you don't have enough pacha, we'll give up the monitoring on Saluran 1. But it's a di very different story now, uh, since all the OKU will go to uh, Saluran 1. So the importance of Saluran 1 uh, become very uh, important. You, you should take more attention to it. Uh, next point, please. So, orang yang dipercaya ini can be the same person assisting multiple voters. So it doesn't have to be different person for for one uh, for different voter. It can be the same person. This is where we want to pay attention on. If uh, someone was Yes, it used to be Saruran one is for senior citizen, but now not just for senior citizen. So political party or any 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 one want to hire someone to serve all the orang yang tidak berdaya, no law says that cannot. So they can do that. So maybe one political party, they decided to hire a person to serve all the uh, orang yang tidak berdaya voters, it's okay. It's not against the law. This is where we, it can go abused by certain case. Okay, um, next slide. So, Sometimes uh, to save time, because probably the line is long, uh, KTM will offer their help to the OKU or the Orang Yang Tidak Badaya. To avoid, to save time and to avoid filling up uh, Form 10. But in that case, there will be no record of the Orang Yang Dipercaya E. So every time, especially when you see multiple times the same person that push in different OKU you should you should really uh, ask the KTM to even though KTM uh, I mean take over from the door of the Saluran, you should ask uh, all the pulling agents should ask the KTM nicely uh, not not very <laughs> rude. So to ask them to fill up form 10, even though KTM take over, but we want the information of this, this orang yang dipercaya because we saw them multiple times. So you should really ask the KTM to fill up forms or form 10. And again, I'll remind you, it used to be, we thought that we cannot have borang 10, but under regulation 1911, the last sentence says that upon request, so you can request the KTM to give you a copy of borang 10. 
So during your two hour breaks, the pulling agent, you should also uh, inform your ketua pacha about uh, this incident. Maybe you can find the identity of this person, the same orang yang dipercayai outside the saluran or outside the pulling station and you can identify them for your ketua pacha to, to see if anything suspicious. It's not necessary there's something suspicious that could happen, but it's good to keep it in record. Okay, next. So we'll talk about suspicious water here. This is about Borang 11. So the regulation 21A, it says that any voters uh, that have a temporary identification document, you have to fill up Borang 11 or any one that you cannot really identify, uh, that is suspicious uh, on the voter, you can ask the KTM or KTM supposed to ask the voter to fill up uh, Borang 11. So under 21B, it says that if the voter refused to uh, review their, their face their, or any suspicious that they refuse to let us ident identify them, KTM have the right not to issue a ballot paper to the voter. Okay, next. Well, there's three examples provided by the EC where you have to fill up Borang 11. One is, as we said earlier, you cover your face, you, won't, you don't want to uh, reveal yourself, your face, you have to fill up uh, Form 11. Especially at this point, uh, pulling agent should really raise your hand and say, KTM, Banta, you have to ask them to fill up Form 11 and also record this incident for your uh, Ketua Pachal. And physical change of the voter, uh, either way, they go to Korea or something. Uh, the next one is your name change uh, in your IC because of religious purpose or something. That's from the EC, the three example, but from our experience, there's way more ex uh, example uh, from the three example given by EC. So next is about name. Name doesn't match your racial status. There is case that it's an adopted child or something. So it's not necessary that uh, it's uh, uh, against the law or something, but it's good to keep it in record as well. So the name, uh, a Chinese name doesn't match to a Malay out, out, outfit of the person. You can record it. They just need to fill up the Borang 11. It's not necessary to, it's not necessary to, uh, it's against the law. Uh, next, the age. The age uh, from the IC, we can know how, how old is the voter, but if the appearance of the voter is there, it's raining heavily here. It, can you hear me clearly? Very clearly. Okay. Uh, so the age of the voter is not clear. Uh, the physical change doesn't match. So um, uh, 70 years old appears to be a youngster or things like that or the other way. You have to ask KTM to fill up Borang 11. And the face, of course, uh, your IC photo doesn't match with the face. It's a very suspicious thing to happen. So maybe they go to Korea la, again. Uh, so this is uh, also you need to record in Borang 11. The next example is uh, uh, a non-Malaysian with below IC says he voted in Pulau Gaya, where usually there's no, no, no pacha in Pulau Gaya. La. 
So I'll use this as an example. This person, non, non-Malaysian, uh, but he says he voted. How? Uh, we don't know. There's no detail about it, but I'll use this as an example. Next. Uh, so if you see a voter <coughs> that doesn't look like a Malaysian uh, and have a Suluk dialect in your Saluran, pulling agent have to ask the, with the permission of the KTM, you can ask question uh, of this voter. You can talk to this voter only with the permission of KTM. Otherwise, uh, you cannot talk to the voter. So the first thing would be, if the IC doesn't belong to him, uh, just an example, uh, you can ask, what is your address? It's very easy. There's no way he can remember the address uh, if it's not their own address. So it's a very simple way to find out if this, this person you want to uh, not let him have the ballot paper. Lah. Okay, next. And this one you cannot solve with uh, the next example, you cannot solve with Borang 11, but it, you have other tasks to play with. So this one is uh, where voters come in with papers, the same kind of papers with them. And it's always, uh, there's a few voters that bring in the same kind of paper then you should request the KTM to check what is the content in the paper. Uh, next, please. And maybe just show the opening. Thank you. So you, there's ways that you, don't, you, you should not allow these uh, papers to come in to Saluran. Anything that has a political uh, uh, logo or something, or the talon or something, you are not allowed to campaign that day. So you can use your, 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 uh, your right to stop this kind of paper to go into your Saluran with the help of the KTM. And if uh, the voter refuse or the KTM refuse to really act against it, inform your Ketua Pacha or Mahati. It's a very good way to uh, stop this kind of event. Uh, this is uh, the two pictures is taken by me and it's actual uh, actual uh, actual paper that I find outside of the pooling station. Uh, inform your Ketua Pacha, maybe Ketua Pacha will say, oh, what should I do? Uh? <laughs> so ask your volunteers to go go talk to the voters outside with this similar kind of paper get a get a picture of it with a nice way lah. maybe you can talk talk them to let you take a picture of those these are your 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 these are your evidence if your chalon uh, didn't win, then it should go to court now. If it win, I don't know. It's up to you <laughs> to decide, your chalon to decide if they want to bring this issue on. Okay, when we talk about Pemahati, this is my third topic. Pemahati is a very important tool that you should be looking into uh, assisting in your uh, election event. Uh, after G14, Pemahati have increased, have increased, uh, the, we, we actively increase the Pemahati amount uh, so we can observe the whole election. Because the, the, it's the good thing of Pemahati because they can go anywhere in and observe every process in the election. It starts from the nomination date until the announcement of the result. So it's wise to work with them. So any NGO or individuals you can apply to be Pemahati by submitting letter to uh, uh, EC uh, application. As long as you don't hold a position in a political party. Uh, we have three examples. Did not Malaysia have 
uh, quite a few experience with Bernardi, Bersi and Engage. So these are the three examples that is already uh, recognized by the EC to be their appoint as uh, Pemahati. Of course, you must attend their training by EC. Here is some of our Pemahati from Dinak Malaysia. Next slide. Okay, the good thing about Pemahati is they can enter Saburans. They can enter any Saburan. But there is restriction of what they can do as well. Within the Saluran, they cannot do any uh, recording. No pictures, no video, cannot use your phone. But uh, they can only observe. They have to remain silent, especially uh, counting process or things. They cannot uh, interrupt any process of the election. They can only observe. <clears throat> but they can go anywhere in any venue that is uh, election related venue. Uh, okay, so as previous example, uh, when you're off duty, pulling agent, you're off duty, uh, up the two hours break, you can go outside, you saw something in your saluran and you cannot do anything. And your ketua pacha don't have idea how, how to solve the thing because not all ketua pacha is experienced. You can go to the Pemahati. Pemahati knows all the channels uh, because after EC training, they know who they should inform and who they should uh, do, what they should do to stop certain event. So it's it's very good tools to use when, when your, your pacha uh, or Ketua Pacha doesn't know uh, how to stop an event immediately, uh, Pemahati would be your partner in uh, a free and fair election. Okay, the next one, the next few points is, all of this event, uh, suspicious or uh, against the law and things like that, will be recorded in a booklet of the Pemahati and it will be submitted to the EC within two weeks after the election ended. So oh, the, it's very easy to spot the Pemati. It's like any uh, your pulling agent or things, they all have to wear a tag. They have uh, Surat Lantikan and Borak, they have to fill in Borang A, and they have to wear their uniform. So it's very easy to find them in your pulling station but they might, because they will be moving around, so you have to find them. Okay, thank you. That's